So we're going to swap on over to Maya. I'm going to file, and you can use any program to do this. I've just been using Maya. I, every single project I've ever been on for the past 12 years has been a Maya pipeline backbone for everything. So I'm going to go to demo bake, test a low, import it, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and select all these, and let's go ahead and just do assign an existing material. We're just going to throw Lambert on there for now. Let's go into, I'm going to hit the space bar. We're going to go to Windows, uh, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. Go to Edit, Delete Unused Nodes, and now we're just back to where we start. Um, let's go ahead, while we're in here, let's hit Lambert, Control, double tap that, and we're going to call this Pistol. And now um, let's go ahead and assign existing material pistol to that. Um, you could have also done that and just dragged it on there or right-clicked assigned, but we're in good shape. So we've got our pistol here. Um, this is a very small pistol, so I hope it bakes okay. It should it should bake okay. That's okay. So we got this here. Now we've got trigger, barrel, all this stuff here. So there's a couple things we need to do. Number one, we need to ensure that I'm going to select all these and hit one. I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to, oh, I don't have these. So I'm going to go to, which is okay. So two things I need to do is I need to go to normals. And I usually have buttons for these. So give me, give me a second here. Uh, so surface, no. Uh, uh, mesh tools, edit mesh. Is there a normal section in here? Mesh display, geez, normals. Okay. So I'm going to hold down control shift. I'm going to go to um, unlock normals. I'm going to set the face and I'm going to soften the edge. So I'm going to unlock my normals, set the face, give it a second, and I'm going to soften all my normals here. So it's going to average all of those uh, normals. Uh, next thing we need to do is UV this thing. So I'm going to go to UV, and I'm just going to do automatic. Why would you do automatic? It's garbage UVs. Because I don't care. And then we're going to go over here, and we're going to go to Mesh Cleanup. And we're going to say uh, Clean Up Selected Polygons. Uh, we want to clean up faces more than four sides, faces with... Uh, we'll probably use those laminar faces, non-manifold geometry, edges of zero lengths, faces of zero geometry area. Okay, clean up. So we're going to go to uh, modify. We're going to go to our layout settings here. We need to make sure that our pre-scaling is prever preserving 3D ratios. So when I lay this out, it's going to go through and look at the size of my objects and scale the UVs accordingly. There we go, something like that. We also need a little bit of padding here. So we're going to go to Modify, Layout, uh, Packing Iterations, uh, Packing Resolution. What am I looking for? Here we go. Shell padding. So let's say we're going to go bake to a 2048, and we want the shell padding to be like 4 pixels. And then that'll give us a little bit of breathing room around our, our shells there. And that's just for like if you're mipping out to an LOD, um, it'll give you a little bit more breathing room. And this, this auto UV did a really, like, glaringly awful job. We'll see if this even works. Yeah, that cleanup is doing something really nasty, which it shouldn't be doing. Let's check that out. Mesh, cleanup. Oh, you know what? It might just be a scale thing. Let me try this. All right. UV editor. See, so I am work. This is a ZBrush scale, so there we go. Much better. So it was an edges zero length thing. Um, I guess when you're working on a scale this long, this small, it's going to consider these small edges zero length. So thanks, Maya. Anyway, we got this thing. It's working fine. If you want to, you can change these to low. I don't think it matters that much. I think Painter will still respect the names and group them together correctly. But we'll go ahead and swap it out just in case, just to do it nice. Anyway, here we go. Uh, one thing we uh, need to redo, rendering editors, hypershade. And we'll go ahead and make a new Lambert. We'll call it control, double click, pistol, pistol. And then this time what we'll do is we'll select all these and we'll right click pistol, say assign material selection. So now we've got a pistol here. We're going to go to file, export selection. And uh, pistol demo bake. You need to go to FBX. Like, where is it? Oh, there's a new ass export. That's nice. FBX pistol low. Let's go through. Um, maybe I want a smooth mesh. Uh, tangents and binormals, I think, is the only thing we need to turn on. Go to export. 
There we go.